Well, here we are. Yesterday, as I put out on Facebook, was a pretty fun day for us. <clears throat> pretty special day. We went on up into Monterey, Tennessee yesterday afternoon and uh, we set up a party for 57 Head Start children, three and four years old, and their families and their siblings. And uh, it was really, really satisfying on a lot of levels. And it was also heartbreaking and enlightening and, and uh, predictable, I guess. So we got up there, I don't know what, three for the party, you know, to get set up. We had 57 nice wrap presents provided by Tiffany Huddleston and Char out of football. We had uh, enough pizza for 200 people provided by Marco's Pizza of Cookville. Uh, Anthony Horn, I believe, is the other's name. Great guy. Um, you know, it was uh, it was a party. What can I tell you? My girls, Beth and Jessica, cooked over 300 cookies with no chocolate because of allergies. And... Uh, we just got together at the First Baptist Church Life Center, which is kind of an unusual place for me, and uh, in they came. And we didn't know what to expect. We went up in the bus and we uh, tried to bring a few extra things with us just in case. And uh, about quarter to five they started coming in young mothers with small children, young parents with small children, grandparents with small children, and bigger children, a lot of them, bringing the siblings along, and, uh, and a few foster parents with children. And uh, we had all the presents under the trees, and Tony Pagel, thank you Tony Pagel, the hippie chicken at the festival donated a hundred teddy bears, so we had all them under the trees. and. Uh, children came in and they started getting something to eat, getting some pizza and sitting down at the little round tables that were scattered around the room and and more people came in and more people came in and more people came in and uh, you know I didn't know what I expected maybe 75 100 people uh, I, I'll bet you there was 200 if there was one and uh, and it was on and uh, we, we, we ate our pizza and we, and we kind of visited with each other and I got to kind of play with the little kids and fist bump and hang out a little bit. And that's, my, that's my age group right there, under 7 and over 60 is pretty much the people that get me. And uh, then we gave out the gifts and uh, the wonderful Head Start ladies were kind enough to uh, kind of help some of the children that are the most marginalized or most disadvantaged pick out some of the uh, the bigger things they handed them some of the some of the bigger boxes thinking they'd probably be a little more spectacular <coughs> and uh, at the end of the evening Mississippi was over by the door everybody was leaving kind of saying goodbye one of the church ladies was over there sitting with her and there was a four-year-old boy, and he was with his foster parents, um, and he had gotten a big box of trucks and beautiful gold wrapping paper. Thank you, whoever of Tiffany Huddleston's friends donated that. It was spectacular. And they weren't letting him open him. He was desperate to get him out of there. but. There was a little finger hole where you could push in there and, and one of the trucks would light up when you hit the button and he was just, the look on his face, um, you know, if you're four years old and you're already in foster care and, and I assume all your parents and relatives are out of the picture, I, I can imagine that, that it hasn't been perfect and, and uh, just to see that, that little boy's face was, was I mean, I don't need that motivation to do this, but boy, oh boy, it was it was wonderful and it was heartbreaking and it was 
it was absolutely everything I suspect there is and more going on all over the place. So the evening kind of wound down and it was foggy and rainy and cold and, and truthfully we wanted to get the bus off the mountain and and I know a lot of the people were anxious to go and, and uh, everybody had eaten, they'd gotten their presents, got their teddy bear, played around a little bit, had a little fun, had a couple of cookies. And I kind of gently, quietly threw a couple of friends of mine that were there off the mountain, put out the word that we had a little extra food and some coats and some extra toys on the bus that were donated to us over the last few benefits, mostly the last benefit. And then if there was anybody that particularly felt, you know, stressed right now and could really, really use a, a little help, and we'd already had a couple out there, that, that just to kind of slip on by the bus, we were, we were probably, I don't know, 100 feet from the front door. And uh, we went out, and uh, my family came in, and then another, and then another. And I looked outside the bus and they were lined up outside the bus, down the sidewalk, all the way back into the front door. And almost everybody was waiting to come into the bus. To get a few cans of beans, maybe some tuna, some macaroni and cheese, some uh, Vienna sausage, some canned chicken, some soups, some, you know, pasta, dried beans, tomato sauce, staple type foods, and some children's books, and, and there was children that didn't have coats, and they needed children's coats, and, and for over an hour, we just boxed and boxed. Mississippi and I just, we just boxed it up, man, and, uh, well, mostly gone and that was some of the food that we were going to take up on the mountain on the 23rd well the mountain came to us yesterday so we're going to need some more I couldn't do video there I couldn't do still pictures except just a couple of the tree with the toys because of the nature of the children and, <clears throat> and the fact that uh, well for a variety of reasons uh, uh, it just wasn't something that we, we should or could do. So I just wanted to tell you about it. Um, our next benefit is this Saturday. I know it's going to rain. It's going to be a little cold. But we're going to have the big pot belly stove going inside the sanctuary. The Yardbirds is going to be cooking food. And I've got Stonehouse wine and Budweiser's donated some beer. And we'll just gather inside and build a big fire. And uh, and we'll have five or six hours of real good music. We'll get you all in. But what I'm trying to tell you is uh, we really, really need your donations of non-perishable food this time. This is the last push before Christmas. And uh, we've got a little money put back and we're gonna spend it. Cooper's recycling Good old Steve and Cindy Cooper are going to donate a bunch of Boston butts so we can take some kind of freshly cooked meats up there, freshly smoked. But we want to fill some pantries. We have people specifically in mind that uh, often have to choose between enough food or proper food and electric bills or, or medicine bills. Um, it's a... Uh, it's a hard thing for some people. Winter's hard. Summer's hard. Winter's much harder. And uh, we just need your help. And I thought I'd just do a little video reach out here. So we're looking forward to seeing each and every one of you. Music starts at noon on Saturday. You can get directions off our website, jamminandhibbyjacks.com. Um, there's a motel in Monterey, Tennessee called the Bethel Inn and Suites. <clears throat> They're going to give us a good special rate for anybody who wants to stay up there. It's not too far away. Um, please, please. 
I need you this time.